Hey, are you new around here? Are you going to be starting school here? Cool. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Do you talk? Well, there's my ride. I have to go. How was school? It was okay. I met a boy in the park today. What was his name? I don't know. I didn't catch it. Well, do you know anything about him? Not really. He doesn't speak. He doesn't speak? Yeah, he just nods his head. I'd stay away from that boy. Why? He's going to be starting school here, and he seems like a nice boy. I don't want you talking to that boy now. Go get ready for bed. Hey there, freak. Losers! Come on, let's get out of here and get you cleaned up. I'll be right back. Are you okay now? That's my little brother Joshua. He ran away when he was little. Do you want to get out of here? Here, I got something for you. You're welcome. Yeah, but I'll deal with that later. No, why would you think that? Well, I would. Where have you been? I've been worried sick. Mom, calm down. I was just out. Out with who? The boy from the park. I told you I didn't want you talking to him. I told you to tell me when you're leaving the house. I don't want to lose you like I lost your brother. I'm sorry, Mom. Go to your room. What are you doing? Do you think this is how it's supposed to end? I know it may seem like nobody cares about you, but I do. I care about you. I used to cut myself too. I haven't done it since, but while I was doing it, I thought about all the bad things that people were saying about me, which only made me go deeper. Doing this doesn't end the pain. It just conjures up more. I learned that lesson the hard way. Are you alright? Do you have a pen? I want you to write something on my face. Write loving, compassionate, trustworthy, amazing. Now, see, what's written on your face is what the bad people and the jerks think of you. What's on my face is what I think of you. And it's the truth. Now promise me you won't do anything like this ever again. Hey, 
I never got your name. 